So now we're going to do a quick short video on how to make a little flutter. And we're live again for the second installment of this video. So just a video that you've probably seen a few minutes ago. Uh, it was just on ladyfingers, the bindia. Uh, and then this is just basically on the burrata. Um, it, these are already um, the frozen ones, so they're not the Shana Parantas. Which ones were they? If you get out, we can have a look. Or the Taj. Taj original Parantas. So they're South Asian flatbread. Uh, flatbread. It's a family value pack, so it's definitely valued at um, oh, right. so we got an award in 2013 yeah, in actually funny enough about an award well by that time there is a, 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 a there is a post I need to put up which one of the scholars actually did about finding a nasty little plastic glove in a parata but we'll put that one. in a parata in a parata it must have been somebody who's obviously was preparing it oh, actually if you show me your phone I can show it no you no. can't so uh, that's what's the big deal. Did somebody die with it? Yeah, but it's unhygienic. Yeah, but why. it must have been somebody who was actually preparing, packing it, and must have incidentally must have dropped in there. I'm sure they weren't gonna. Well, we the only problem would be if they had a, a latex. No, they could have had a latex allergy, and then that would have been a problem. Okay. I can't see why. So anyway, I'll I haven't put any my, oil in this one. I'll grab my iPad and. Mine. I'm just going to quickly do this one. So, the, the good thing about this is oh, we don't have to use any oil. So, this is my grill pan. As you can see, it's been well and truly used. So, with this one, you don't really need to put any oil. Uh, so, it's a healthy option again. So, we can just um, basically uh, put the paranta on the grill. And I'm just going to turn it over. So yeah, so when you make the natural homemade parantas, you use like loads and loads and loads of oil, which is not good for your cholesterol. So for this, it's definitely a healthy option. So highly, highly recommend it. And it's so easy for Ramadan. I know Ramadan's around the corner. So inshallah, we'll be using this like on a, in the morning for your sah uh, sahur. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely recommend it. So, yep, yeah. there we go. Yeah, I'm just getting my uh, the post up. So, this one basically, um, it's got a bit of oil, but that was like maybe we've used it previously for something. But I don't actually add any oil into this paranta. So, it's just a plain one. You can get different flavoured garlic, jeera paranta, or you can make your own. So, since we, don't have, we work and this is convenient, so you just put it on low heat. And it's quite light, isn't it? And quite like it's like puff pastry. So basically, you could make you get a puff pastry and do it. But the problem is with the puff pastry, it's got um, what has it got ethanol in? So I don't know if you guys are aware the puff pastries that you get generally has ethanol. So you can't really use the puff pastry. Uh, so unfortunately, that would have been another way of making this. Um, or you can make it with normal roti da atta, you know, and people make parantas and put cool. in alu. A parata related story, I might as well do it now, so I've got my Facebook up, uh, Facebook page up, uh, so uh, one of the scholars, I will repost this as well, uh, I have said to him, I will repost it, and then we'll go back to the live parata as well. This oh, is, is it Shazan? Shazan's yet again. Oh, Shazan, you Thank you, uh, Sheikh Bilal Brown. He found a latex glove in his. Uh, well, actually, it's not where is the actual glove? I can't see it there. There, look. Or oh, the blue one. Yeah, but that beef burgers. Hello. It's still the same thing. It's Did not. That's it? a beef burger. It's not even paranta. Read your article first. <sighs> anyway, so like, uh, but yeah. Shazan, unfortunately, we will we'll, we'll be posting, we'll have to post this as well, just so you say. Like say. Halal food related story. No, it's not me, it's not been a thing. Shazan diet burgers. So, anyway, 
Get back to the barranca. Back to the so there you go, it's nice and uh, golden brown. So, like I said, guys, this hasn't had any butter, ghee, or oil. So that's going to accomplish our what are we having it with bindi. And you guys always made the bindi, so as you can see, it's a nice light uh, paranta instead of having roti, which um, I was speaking to a dietitian actually. Uh, one roti, depending on the size, is like having four to five slices of bread. So if you're trying to eat healthy and cut down on your carbs, the healthy way is uh, low carbs. So yeah, I'll just wait for this to get put there. But yeah, not a bad idea, is it really? It's just so convenient. So yeah, I'll be nearly... I think that's it then. Okay, uh, any more questions on this video? If you want to pop into the comments, if you want to pop the, com pop, pop the comments in right now, I can read, read them out live for those who want me to. So this one literally has no oil on. So as you can see, it'll get cooked within a minute or so. So it has to be nice and golden brown. Oh god, it's in run again. Oh, it's now Why? I'm back like Terminator. Does he work with you? Oh, he is. Alright, Imran. So, yeah, Imran, you saw the video with the opera, Bindi. So, we were going to have a bit for a uh, yeah, what about trying porata with olive oil? Like I know, but larger. why? Uh, because we have oil in the cooking, in the food. Um, you can, if you're going to make your own, then by all means, add a bit of olive oil. But you know, people tend to add so much olive oil in, uh, even for seasoning. But I don't. You don't need it technically. If you look at that paranta there, it's like it's without the oil, and it's still it's light and crispy, isn't it, to eat? So. <sighs> Hence why we don't use it. Yeah. Just a tiny bit of oil. Yeah, that was from the pan. So I don't, I've not added any more. I just have to keep the pan a bit low because otherwise the fire uh, alarm is going to go off. It's getting a bit smoky with the... Nice cooking like Asian food. Abu Modase Safi. Where's Abu uh, Modase Abu from? Modase Safi. Where are you from? Sounds like uh, Africa, if I'm correct. Modesto. Saikara like, uh, looks delicious, but if you are making that one, maybe it's healthier option than ghee. Yeah, definitely. No ghee. And no, um, yeah. I mean, we've evolved that one since the day when people used to, parents used to use ghee, then it was butter. And now we're on to um, oil. So a healthy option is olive uh, olive oil or rapeseed vegetable oil for cooking. So yeah, so that says done I think really. Like it looks, it looks delicious, thank you. Yeah, you can make your own, especially in Ramadan. My mum makes uh, the most um, scrumptious, um, delicious uh, baranta. But it's got loads of butter in Lampart, is it lamp Lampark? Lampark, yeah. So they use that like butter and it is really, really fattening. Getting. When are you going to cook lamb meat, etc.? Who's asking? Is this uh, Askia? Yeah. No? No, mm -hmm. I trust it, it'd be a bloke asking that. Uh, we did, what did we not do? We did a lamb one. If you look at our YouTube videos, we've done baby lamb with spinach. And the only thing I haven't done is chicken, so I am going to do chicken, aren't we? Uh, actually, I think we're going to make, um, I wanted to be making some, on the weekend, going to make some shepherd's pie. It's got a twist to it, though. Uh, so the shepherd's pie will have a sweet potato instead of normal. So that's going to be the twist to our shepherd's pie on the weekend so it'll be mince oh yeah oh don't forget to sh follow like and share the page we're about i think just under four thousand people 
to get oh, over a hundred thousand over a hundred thousand followers in. Mashallah, that's good. It'd be nice to get more so than a hundred people watching. You do it. get a lot of information on, on the Halal or Haram page. So the admin people do a lot of um, the yeah. legwork. We do get a lot of haters on there as well. Yeah, we but that's mind. with any page, isn't it? So as far as you do the good work, um, you know, hate obviously. It's just making people aware of our little, little things that we tend to take for granted. Yeah, it's strange. A lot of people, even though they know that sort of things are haram, they still kind of... Yeah, because they say, more, well, you know... When discover this, more evidence. Even though you give them the evidence, black and white, but... Yeah, each to their own, but at least you've made them uh, aware that's what you're there for. Not hey, to criticise anybody. Who's giving the angry likes or Nobody. angry icons? They're just saying... Keep up the good work, everything. There's no hate on this page. It's all about love and peace. So, peace out. No, the angry faces, like so see Any some. more comments? Any more there comments? We go. That's the last fan toddum. Okay, we're going to sign out of this video. So unless there's any more comments or any more info somebody, like Somebody's a little bit upset. Oh, I hope I've not offended anybody. This is Halal on Haram page. So it's all about making people aware of Food. Yeah, all is a must, not just about what we eat, also about what we wear and what we love. Yeah, we should be following the sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Oh, Rashid, Asalaamu Alaikum, bruv. You just missed out on the burrata and the lady, bing, the lady, lady fingers. Oh, here, you can have a look, though. I oh, really need to get you to come down, Rash. I'm buying you a frying pan, Rash, then. Are you happy for you, Rash is buying us a frying pan. Are you? Please! We do need one. <laughs> we just not had time to go and purchase one. Because some people are too busy on Facebook. Mention no name. Yeah, I need to get a frying pan at some point. Who's this? Rashid. From, from Bradford. Bradford. But works yeah, in so. Keighley. Are we getting there? Are we getting there? Okay, cool. Looking forward to the frying pan. Yeah, I need to get Rashid, me and Rashid could do some cooking. Or the other Shahib as well, they want to be doing some cooking. Brother Akhba, Akhba as well. And go. Brother Mehraj as well. A couple of people that want to from different areas. Oh. Brother Yasser from Manchester as well, he was saying about cooking. The original from Nottingham. Uh, a few other places. There you go. Anyway, so this is going to be it. Um, any questions before we sign out? No more questions So Hussein, Amiya, MashaAllah, very nice Alhamdulillah SubhanAllah so, Okay, so we're not going to sign out now I think that's pretty much it So um, yeah, I'm going to post the videos up shortly I'm saving them onto my phone And then uploading them onto uh, YouTube uh, Any more questions, you know where we are Drop a bit of Ismail Bahmood uh, as the Haribol Halal. If they say Halal on them, yeah, then they would assume being what Halal. Is? But if they don't, then no. What's that? Abu Mudassa Sahifi says, Okay, how is the meant Halal Haram in Aldi market and Lidl or Paniat? Okay, regarding Aldi and Lidl, uh, from my understanding, they don't do any Halal content or Halal meats or anything like that. And Uzma Dylan, why didn't you read my comment? Oh, what did she write? Oh, did you write a comment on the previous video or this video? Um, if you put your comment again, the thing is when I post them, to be honest, I don't really check them again after that. No, so it goes too quick, doesn't it, sometimes? It's when people are writing loads of messages. You can't Uzma read. Dylan, what is your question or what is your comment? Got a lot of questions. Yeah, so regarding Al, uh, Aldi and uh, um, Lidl, um, remember their their stuff does their stuff is comes from foreign from countries, Germany mainly. so it does need to be checked. And unfortunately, most of their uh, food is written in different languages, so you need to check that out as well. Um, I only post as a, as and when I come along. I don't have to, because I work full time. I don't get the time to just sit there and start going through every single thing i did that at one of my luxury jobs i don't get that luxury now in my current role uh, because i'm too busy working so a lot of the posts are scheduled in so 
Also, man, did you have any, did you want me to say something or write something or give you a shout out or something? Okay, if no more questions, I'm gonna sign out. Okay, I wrote my comment before Rashid's. But let me just scroll up. Uh, as the no, that's not you, Rashid. Rashid, when are you gonna? No, I can't see your comment. I'm scrolling up and down. I can't see your comment before Rashid. Rashid joins, buying a frying pan. Yeah. Do you want to rewrite your comment? Are you going to buy the frying pan? Adam Razak, a nice roti. What's the curry? The curry is uh, lady fingers. Not your meat and chicken again, sorry. We need to get off this. Uh, Uzma, do you, want to write your, do you want to write your comments again? Or do you want to just copy and paste your comments so I can just read it out? Because once I sign out, I won't be reading out then. It's too late then. Abu Modas says, Hafi says, thanks a lot. Adam Razak says, yum. We just wait for Uzma to copy her comments and we can sign out. Come on, Uzma. Copy and paste is not that hard. What the book? Adam Razak. What book? No, that's not a book actually, it's an iPad. A uh, company made this for me, so... Um, Has Osma written her? Yeah, maybe I should release a book. Well, uh, the thing is, a lot of agents wouldn't buy it though, you know, can juice. Come on, Osma. Chop, chop. Get a copy and paste in. Right, so I'm gonna go and oh, nice cover. Yeah, the cover is just a reminder in it. So I was meant to have just a particular iPad just just for Halal or Haram. Um, I, I will at some point. I'll probably get some more made at some point. I'm not the chance yet. Um, I think I need a job in social media. Okay, uh, Uzma, you haven't posted anything. So what I'm after, Inshallah, I'm gonna sign out, get some food. I'll, re I'll post the video on uh, our YouTube channel as well, and then um, yeah, if any, please avoid a metallic spatula. Or oh, Uzma says, please avoid a metallic spatula, wood, a non-stick pan. All right, okay. Yeah, okay. Avoid a metallic spatula. I'll take that comment on board. Okay, guys. Allah Hafiz. Feet him in Allah. Remember, do remember those in need in your prayers, please. Allah Hafiz.